Secret. Long secret. Long secret. Very long. Big long. secret. Things are happening. I mean, look, you said when we go to your hometown, I'm sure we'll have secrets too. <laughs> It's okay. They don't need to know about the secret drug deal that we just. That's did true. The they do not need to know about they the large amount that. of fantasy drugs that Zeron now has in their possession. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. bags, bags and yeah. bags of fantasy drugs. Just Damn. tons and well, explosives. Absolute loads. Yeah. Loka's good at sniffing that kind of stuff out. So. Okay. <laughs> Loka, uh, roll, for roll, roll for drugs. Roll for drugs. Roll for drugs. Roll for drugs. What is Loka like on your road? Can can Loka even digest drugs? What kind of drugs does Loka get up to? You have to smear it on the gills. I was gonna say, mm. Loka can just like osmosis that shit through his skin. <laughs> like, oh <my> God. <laughs> just, just just put some put some put some weed on his head. It, it, oh. it, it'll get that. It'll get in there. We got it. Yep. All right. I I did record all of that. Um, <laughs> after we jump back in, so excellent. Uh, it is uh, the following morning uh, in Althra. Uh Notably, uh, a couple of you uh, did study through the night uh, to the extent that you have exhaustion. Um, you may rest now if you want to, to relieve that exhaustion, but then you will be rising around... Uh, Given that you returned to the two-headed peasant at dawn, um, probably a bit past noon, early afternoon. Mm. Yeah. Let's, let's... Yeah. Which you certainly may do. Uh, relevant uh, mechanically, exhaustion gives you disadvantage on all skill checks at level one, uh, which is pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Or ability checks, rather. And it also means that we don't get a long rest if we don't do that, or... Uh, you would need a... The long rest is what alleviates exhaustion. Okay. Taking a long rest alleviates one level of exhaustion. Hmm. So you may be a late riser if you would like to. Yeah, so I'm... Hey, son, we'll, ri we'll rise late in that case. Sure thing. Same. All right. Same. Uh, Zaron and Loka, is there anything you would like to do in your waking meantime? Um. The two of you likely get up um, somewhat around the same time. You bo you're both in the same room, question mark, um, mm -hmm. since I believe Peshmina and Hassan are in the other. Um, so you have uh, a morning and an early afternoon to do with what you wish while the other two uh, book nerds are conked the hell out. Um, I guess Saron just kind of like just going to walk around town, like see if there's anything fun being sold in the markets. Yeah. See what's new. You may also just, like, kind of choose to do nothing if you want to wait mm -hmm. until we're all together. <laughs> I mean, it's basically just, like, really passively doing it. Yeah. Um, what are you looking for? I don't think they're looking for anything specific. I think they're just looking around to see if anything catches their eye. Yeah. We did talk about a mirror last time. Oh, we did talk about a mirror. There are plenty. Yeah. I think, yeah, they're going to want to get a mirror. Want to get a mirror? Yeah, go for <laughs> just it. Just to have one. They're like, Useful. Uh, let's say four copper a piece. That's fine. For just like a cheap, cheap dinky little mirror. He, he's going to want one that has like a bit of pizzazz on the side. Like a nice like Sure, like a mirror. nice mirror. Like a nice looking Like one. a filigreed mirror. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll probably be about a silver. That's fine. Remove. Manage inventory. Uh, add item. Let's see. Mirror. Steel. Yeah, sure. Fine. <laughs> so what's that for? To make sure that my complexion is always as perfect and stunning as it is. Oh, that's a lot less exciting than what I was <laughs> <laughs> What did you want it for? What did you expect? I don't know, you seem like melted stuff, I figured maybe it was for that. Uh, I do not 
really need things for the magic that I cast. My lantern does it all for me. Mostly. That's the harm club. <laughs> Could you stream again? Oh, yes. I've just been staring at my OBS recording. Amazing. <laughs> I don't want to stare at your OBS yeah. recording. <laughs> there you go. Us. It's us. It's us. All right. So, yeah, just the mirror. Um, if there's anything else, they'll look around, I guess. Yeah. It is a market city. Mm -hmm. um, there's plenty going around. Uh, uh, both of you roll perception. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh. Hopefully you did better than I did. <laughs> we'll see. I got an eight. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> Solid. Um, all the deals seem really good today. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. What's the first deal I see? Um, rugs. Classic adventuring party need. An indoor well pleated rug <laughs> um there's the sand, a little lot less hot on my feet there's a and it's uh only 30 gold. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy two it's only 70 gold Ooh. Oh. only <laughs> that is very nice weaving <laughs> on it the design i've seen that it's design the finest in all throw Sure, you each is hand weaved, purely unique, and I can also sell you this canister for holding water. It's got holes in the side of it so that the water stays oh. cool while you're in the desert. <laughs> Fascinating! It really does that. It, it, I assure you, cool, coolest water you'll ever drink. So the water can breathe. <laughs> it aerates it. It aerates the it water. It gives it bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Water aeration device. Fascinating. <laughs> Is this a patent thing you made? Uh, no, I. In fact, it it was um in inspired by our merchant leader, Halsafan, the great inventor of goods. Halsafan's known for a, a wide variety of things, such as the rug that does not move, and the movable rod. It's a rod that when you hold it in the air and let go of it, it falls. Fascinating. An incredible mundane item. Incredible. I, I hear he's working on a cloak of disguise, which, when you put it on, makes you look like you're wearing a cloak instead of whatever you were wearing before. Wow. This man... This man might be a genius. Coming up with hit after hit. I don't know what to tell you. This man, my penis. God. <laughs> the thing is, I, God, I once are on to consider the flask, like the water canister, just for just because of it. Like, they don't see anything wrong with this. They genuinely don't. Uh, it's, Intelligence of 13, by the way. It's two, two silver for the water two aeration silver. device. <laughs> Do I dare do it just for the meme? <laughs> do I dare? <laughs> roll for it. <laughs> do I dare? Okay. All right. Roll insight. Mm -hmm. Should I roll insight instead? <laughs> if you wanted to try and like business sense your way out of it. I'm going to because I have a decent insight. That's actually really good. 19. I, if I were to set a DC on it, it would be two. It, I rolled a 19. That is more than two. Uh, you do see, you kind of consider it for a moment. It will do what it says it is, which is add more air to the water. It will also not hold water. Mm -hmm. I think I'll pass this day. But thank you for showing me such It's the It's a one day only deal. It's 90% off. It's normally 20, 20 silver. Oh. Jesus. Have you sold many of these? Uh, two. 
Nail. <laughs> I see. Well, this has been fascinating. I will keep an eye on this, and I might be back later. Excellent. Get your not... water aeration device here! Oh my god. Continues to walk off. Marking. Just be like, did I really almost fall for that? <laughs> it's entirely up to you. Would be funny, but it also would just be a waste of space. This is true. Well, listen, if you. <laughs> If you join the program, it'll give you a discount, and then you can sell more <laughs> to more people. You want to sign up for a <laughs> TJ Max card. Right. <laughs> Do we feel comfortable fast-forwarding to the early hey. afternoon? Oh, yeah. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Unless you have some mischief you would like to devise, no. Loka. No. All right, excellent. That... Um, then Not yet. Later in the afternoon... Not yet. Um, Pejmina and Hassan, you manage to rise yourself after a long night of studying. <clears throat> the two of you in your in your four bedroom. <laughs> How did you sleep, Hassan? Good morning. Uh, nothing much. Perhaps went a bit yeah, too far last night. It's, uh, too far last night. My sincerest apologies. No, it's okay. I'm I I'm partially at fault too. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You... Oh, what do you believe our friends are at the moment? I hope they haven't run off. I mean, we can certainly check. Um, uh. But, uh, hey, Son? Yes? Do you want to go back to the library today? <sighs> I suppose if we are not if we are not by chance leaving uh, then I'm sh then I'm, I would be happy to accompany you back, and I found about as much as I could out on what I wish to find, but I'd be happy to assist you in any other ways, or should we be spending another day? Uh, I'll spin this. Uh. <laughs> that being said, the are things that we should be w concerned about if we are going to continue traveling. I mean, we might as well make use of it while we're here, right? Uh, who knows when we'll have access to another, you know, large library like this. I suppose. But then again, also there is also the work, we have the concern of funding. Not many of us have too- we don't have too much gold, so I think we have to consider be okay, and we are currently in one of the trade hub- in the trade hub of this- of this region. If we can perhaps pick up some good- some goods for some cheap, perhaps some luxuries with, uh, on sale, we could perhaps flip them for greater pro- for profit on the way to, uh, for profit or in exchange for food mm. on our ways north. The further north we go, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure the less that we'll, we'll be seeing of, of simple, co of communities using only gold and have other needs besides, well, yeah, besides worthless, co besides useless coins. Yeah, maybe. That's... Let's find um, let's find Zaron and and um, Loka. Yes, I do hope our fish our fishy friend has not run afoul of anybody. <laughs> I hope he's just staying hydrated. Uh, I I don't think that seems to be a problem with him. <laughs> I'm sure he's in a diving in some fountain. 
at the moment, right now. <laughs> Hard cut to Loka. <laughs> in another, like, public water source. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ashman is gonna go out and try to find Zaron and Loka. Yes. Alright, All right. and Hassan will join you. Still wandering mm-hmm. the markets? Loka and Zaron? Probably. I mean, this place is literally known for its markets, Mm -hmm. so it makes sense that, like, they're just kind of perusing the vast majority of of it. Yeah. It takes a little time, but I'm sure that uh, Hassan and Pashmina can catch up with them after a little bit. And uh, Zoran, I think it would be completely reasonable to say that you have uh, taken care of your business in the meantime. Oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> Nutty. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, morning, good morning, Saron. Saron? Mm, oh, 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 hello. <sighs> good morning. Nice or uh, afternoon. afternoon. Oh, yes. I suppose afternoon then. Oh. Apologies. I hope you've found yourself to be. I hope you haven't been waiting for us at all. Uh, no, not entirely. Is everything all right? You look a little ragged. Uh, I'm. Forgive me, still trying to wake up. Apologies. Long night? Oh, yes, yes, quite long. Uh, but also productive. I, we, Pishmina and I, visited the library and did some research, did some research regarding the, uh, did some research regarding the bracelet we are supposed, oh, the bracelet we have been sent to find. Um, uh, give it, um, although nothing remains conclusive, there is no special, there is no special note, there's no special noting of a specific, of anything, of any, there's no special black iron bracelet in the shape of a serpent that I could find. All I could find is that black iron, that it could possibly be a very old piece of, very old artifact, good, and I see. And in my sleep-deprived haze at the moment, I, given the given the fact, given how black iron often relates to imprisonment, bondage, and well, I I suppose just oh, Not and how <laughs> and, and, and the, just and got the, like, taken aback and they're like uh. What are we looking for? Uh, <laughs> what, like a magical, uh, seal, just goes a magical up. seal, not. <laughs> yes. And is often used as magical seals and serpent, and that, in relation, that our our friend of our friend, uh, our friend of our friend, uh, Mr. Guilt, uh, Miss Guiltleaf, who with whom uh, Matron Fay, who was once. Uh, acquainted with, did ma- did a lot of studying in regards to the dra- in regards to dragons, one of which may have at some point been uh, uh, taken refuge within Mirage or its area, and uh, I made the sleep deprived assumption that perhaps what we're retrieving is some is some say. Seal for a dragon. Something to imprison a dragon within for some silly reason. Although it certainly would not be the first. Although, uh, not to say that instruments like that don't exist. I. But uh, either way, all things considered, 
not too much, uh, not too much was gained. Just some insight and hopefully, in no uh, progress is being made on what on earth we're actually, what we are actually might be doing, getting this bracelet for our for our patron. I think upon just hearing the idea of like there's possibly a dragon involved, Zoran's eyes light up. They look so excited. Uh, uh, and uh, his son just then just goes on this diatribe. Of course, this is all complete conjecture. This guilt leaf, uh, the guilt, the guilt leaf, uh, uh, the guilt leaf is long, long dead. This was hundreds of years ago. No, Kashmir uh, just slowly reaches over and closes your beak with a single. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to explain everything dragon. right now. A dragon imprisoned uh. in some household base object, basically. Oh, that's a dragon. Right. Yeah, it's possible. Power. It's possible. It would not be the first time that powerful, powerful, um, powerful souls or simply powerful beings have been imprisoned in small objects before. Um, <laughs> element, <laughs> element, <laughs> element. I think Zeron turns you at that coffin. He's like, "Excuse me, <laughs> is there something wrong with my lantern?" <laughs> oh well, I wasn't going to say, but uh, um, your lantern is a vessel. In, in case you weren't already aware of what the, of what your lantern is, I thought you knew. I mean, I sort of. To. It's still rather new to me. I just know I have the ability to just disappear for a short while and retreat inside of the lantern. Oh. Oh, it appears Loka was right in their assumption then. Oh, oh, oh. hello, Loka. Has Loka just been there the entire time? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Loka. It's not morning, but hello. Mm -hmm. I just woke up, so it's morning. That's not how that runs, but okay. It's like 3 p.m., but all right. <laughs> so, so I just want to touch base in what our plan is going for going forward today. Pashmina here had hoped to spend another day at the library. Doesn't it doesn't have to be a full day, just you know, a little more time. While we have the resource available to us. I suppose and I said that's not necessarily a bad idea. Given the fact that you were also in I saw that you are amongst the markets here, I was perhaps wondering if you would perhaps like to pick up some trade goods, some trade goods for us to perhaps exchange for rations, as uh, as for rations as we go further away from this opulent, uh, opulent bazaar. Do we not have enough rations? Uh, that is, I'm more than happy to procure some more. I think what he means is more. Uh exchange what money we have into things that we can trade with the uh, locals later on. Mm. Uh, as much food as we have, it will take time to cross the desert. And we don't know how much, if we will, what will happen between then, whether we will lose our rations or how much we will have to simply, well, consume but, uh, between now and then. And even if the the roads even if the roads and trails around Althra are clear, it is not guaranteed that the further we go, they will rem the desert will remain as easy to travel or traverse. Hmm. Things might take longer, and the more salt, the more wealth we have, the more wealth we have for trade for trade, the easier it will be to procure fresh food. I see. I will try to find what I can. 
Uh, I trust your judgment if... I trust your judgment in luxury goods. I will say that much. Thank you. Then I've been given a task. I will see it through. Very, very good then. My apologies for, for perhaps, well, imposing this on you. None taken, my dear friend. Is there a place that we'd care to meet up later then, when we are all said and done? Perhaps in the evening, we will meet back up. We will meet back at the tavern for perhaps a nice meal and a few chats. And then morning after, should everything go well, we depart. If, if that, that seems... makes the most of the evening again, like before. Yeah. Will you be spending another night at the library then? I will attempt to... Last night was a bit of a... We'll keep it brief. <laughs> yes. Last so the night answer is yes. Of an indulgence. <laughs> Apologies. It was an indulgence. It, well, it seems you found some interesting information, whether oh. relevant or not. Oh, yes. And I'm sure we can find more, whatever... Pashmina was considering studying. Should um, one of us inquire on the person, at least, that Fehu told oh, us about? the lead! I oh, what was the lead uh, again? Uh, oh, uh, I, think, uh, I don't think I wrote that, wrote that down. They were a courier, they were a courier for uh, an unknown client. Uh, shit. We got. I think we got their name from uh, the. Oh, the guildmaster. This is for the scarab. Yes. This is for the scarab, not the uh, bracelet. That's oh serious. right. I. That was part. That was something I. We super have not talked to them yet either. So. I, I can try. It uh, won't take me all evening. Arisa? Arisa. Or no, no. Uh, it was just. Uh, <coughs> Sorry about that. It was just two syllables. It wasn't Kala. That was the name of the thing that Hassan was talking about. Maybe it was just Risa? Yeah, let's go with that. That's true now, whether it was before or not. <laughs> uh... Do you say courier or courtier? Courier. Courier, and I apologies, I've forgotten. What was their relation to the... So they were the intermediary between the Gem Cutter Society and their patron, whoever was commissioning yeah, the piece the for yeah. the Gilded Scarab. All right, and we're hunting them down as well. Would not take me long to procure rations. Certainly not all evening. I can at least start the search for the courier. Well, I'm sure our friend, our friend Loka, might also be uh, could also assist in this. In this, uh, Loka, um. How good, how good are you at finding people? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is a finding people skill? Uh, investigation, probably. No. Oh, I'm not little. Hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> Give me one of those, then. If they do this and... Trying to think of the division of labor for this situation. Uh, uh, it might also be relevant if y'all are doing any, like, trip planning to maybe find someone with, like, a map of the region or some experience traversing the area. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Because you know that current things that you know right now, uh, your stated the 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 capital T task you have been given is to find a Zerga who is Fehu's sister on the right. northernmost peninsula of the Phasia, which is as much information about location as you have been given. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. Uh, you've been reassured that it shouldn't be that hard to find her once you get up there. 
Um, but you also don't know, like, I don't, none of you have really been travelers before. Heisan, you probably know a little bit about the roots. Um, and Pejmina, the dance troops generally don't go that far up. Honestly, Zoran, you're probably the most familiar with trade routes mm -hmm. in the region. Yeah. Um, if y'all would maybe like to make some, some checks for advice if you want to. But I can also, like, sure. I can, I can assist with giving more context to the logistics of travel if you would like to. I want to roll. And potentially, if, if it sounds like you are planning on basically being traders part-time for a little bit, um, that lo those logistics might become more relevant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm fine with rolling about uh, the Up area. to what y'all want to do. If you let me know what you want to do and I will help you do it. <laughs> In that case. <laughs> it might be not a bad idea to just like do all of those tasks as a group. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Diverse skill sets. You've got the talent. I mean, I'm more than happy to. The rations will literally be just super easy. Yep. That's just basic purchasing. Yeah. Pashmina does need to go back to the Gem Cutter Society anyways. Um, yeah, because you've got a commission. Mm -hmm. That should be done by now. Um, oh yeah, and then and then she's basically free to do yeah like finding that person, trading, library, mm -hmm. probably probably somewhat in that order more or less yep. <laughs> roughly. Um, DM, mm -hmm. did I do the funny already, or is that like a now thing? Um, up to you. All right, I'll do it now. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I actually have to like role play it out. Uh, ha -ha. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Um, I think like as everything's going on, I think Zoran just kind of like ponders to himself for a moment and they just say, I will help with everything in a bit. There's something I must do, unfortunately, for... Just a short while. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and you won't be long? Will you be okay on your own? I'll be just fine. I'm just checking in on an old friend of mine. You say so. As soon as I'm finished, I'd be happy to try and locate this courier. I'll have all, I have connections within the markets. I can have all the rations delivered to the double-headed peasants, no problem. <laughs> of course. As long as we can get it all on the cart, I guess. Well, I guess, remember what I was talking about was not exactly rations specifically, but trade goods, like valuable goods that will that might be more valuable outside of Althra. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know if Zoran would know particularly <laughs> because they literally have only been in the city. Just okay. Just like a cart with like tools. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, just like menial goods that you'll find in like a pack or something that you get like the general pack. I mean, if you want to... Who, who has a good mercantile skill? <laughs> uh, That'd I have a plus five in persuasion. Be... That'd be good for trading the goods. Um, it's definitely intelligence based. I have a plus one intelligence. Um, hey, some might actually take that upon himself then. Yeah. To try and figure None out. None of what... these skills are correct. Uh, looking at all, looking at the list of potential skills for D and D. So I would just say this like whole responsibility needs to be its own. <laughs> Basically, like, flat and tell- and not just that, but just no understanding how, like, trade works, and especially for your own purposes. So, like, your stated purpose, Heisan, for this, right, is basically like, well, we can only hold so many rations and supplies in the cart, so what we want to do is have goods that are 
more valuable but basically less heavy or or voluminous than those supplies so that when we get to a place we can trade those goods for supplies and keep going you know the way that like a caravan does yes um and there's uh some variance in the kinds of goods you might want for that and might be able to even obtain for that because uh, conventional wisdom says, well, the smallest, most valuable thing then. So, like, gems. But the thing is that, like, the market for gems, like, this little weird out there oasis town isn't going to be spending thousands of gold on... You're going to be... If you plan on selling those in smaller towns, you're going to be selling at a loss. Um, because they're not going to be able to afford the value of those gems. So yeah. you need something that they're going to use and want. Like, you... These are logistics, like, that's why this is a whole profession. Um, yeah. Or, and there, you can do that. You can choose to find goods, buy them at cost, do stuff like that. Or, this is a merchant town. You can find work with one of the merchant houses. You can find, you can basically come on as... Ooh, do a commission for them. Yeah, though. you can like just contract. be, yeah, basically be contractors for XYZ, um, we'll just transport like, company or merchant you. train. Um, and either be traveling with the merchant train or on your own. Um, or you can be, if there's any kind of special delivery that needs to be made, you could try and find one of those. Um, it would probably be a lot... You will be in full control if you do this yourself. Basically, as you're suggesting. And, like, buy, find goods at a good price that will last. Buy them, carry them, sell them. Um, or you can take on a job basically delivering something in your own little little train in a contractor way have less control over pay and reward you're effectively now just becoming an employee for this merchant train rather than being in control of the sale and profits yourself um but it's a lot more guaranteed and you're probably going to be able to actually find something that people are willing to pay you for wherever you are going um or like honestly so um Again, like, logistics-wise, you can probably hold enough uh, supplies to get you all the way to the Northern Peninsula. Or, at the very least, be able to buy them along the way. Because that's what those oasis towns are usually for, is <laughs> resupply. Um, and you can choose to be part of the ecosystem that resupplies the oasis, in turn. Um, or you can just be part of the ecosystem that is resupplying at these oases um so there's like there's a bunch of different ways you can do this if you want to i think yeah sorry um i think the way i kind of want to do this is somewhat independently is like you were saying not uh, somewhat independently not trying to attach myself to necessarily a trade guild or air or hmm basically adding a quest onto our uh... right because that's basically <laughs> what it would be yeah mm -hmm. yes giving yourself another secondary objective you you just want to pick up goods that you think will sell well elsewhere yes um i suppose like small i suppose like me fresh me small I, I suppose like metal t perhaps small metal tools yeah i um, i think safe bets um Actually, like, go ahead and roll just, like, flat intelligence for me. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen's pretty good. Um, tools are tried and true because there's something that wears out and gets broken, um, and not everyone is able to fix them. Um, if you want something that can be just offloaded super easily, because the thing with tools is you're actually going to have to sell them to someone you're going to have to probably post up for a day or so and offload your stock to people who need them um <laughs> if you're looking for simplicity um honestly stuff like grains and raw supplies that you just buy at volume are going <laughs> to be more useful to you so if you get like fennec feed Right, like something that everyone needs all over the place, or spices, or um, simple foods, uh, things that you are going to be able to buy at volume and then sell in bulk at volume 
not to consumers, but to suppliers once you get to those trading posts. Um, highest uh, value would definitely be spices, but you're going to need to be able to find someone who will sell them to you at bulk um, because you're kind of scabbing um, doing your own <laughs> independent thing while there is an active... Mer like, you're just another merchant and everyone gets that, but you're not associated with a guild. You're not, like, insured or anything like that. You're not part of the typical yeah. cycle. You won't be the typical buyer or seller. So uh, to you're going to have to convince someone to sell to you at um, not retail value but at market value yeah that's a cost we would have to front um and spices are going to be really expensive to buy at volume yeah um something more practical and less spicy like feed um like honestly fennec feed's probably your easiest bet um because you will all almost definitely be able to offsell that at whatever little general store you pass by in those oasis towns um, but you're going to be able to carry less of it than something like spices because it is like it, it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, then probably fennec feed would be the good idea. Right. Then. Um, There's also the small chance that if we end up taking a loss, then we can still just use it. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Uh, worst case scenario, you just feed Millie. Yeah. Gotta feed the fox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just kind of derailed us. No, absolutely. On... I think it's fun. Um, yeah, then if maybe to abbreviate that somewhat, um, would you prefer to, do you want to like actively play that out or do you want to give it a couple of rolls and then just say how much you get and what it costs? A couple of rolls. Okay, cool. This seems like something that doesn't need to take up too much um, time. Are you doing it with people? Like, are, are you hanging out with Loka and Pejmina and kind of like hashing this process out while you do this merchant thing? Yes, especially with Loka. I want Loka to be... Excellent. I want Loka to be there. Um, then in that case, go ahead and give me Persuasion, and Pejmina and or Loka, you may absolutely help if you want to. <laughs> I mean, I, you assume that Loka is going to add advantage to your run and not disadvantage. <laughs> and that's just, that's just a miscalculation on your part. <laughs> <laughs> Loka becomes a nuisance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pashmina will try to help. Yeah. Go ahead and give me persuasion, Hazan. 18. 18. Should I, should I, wait, did you say advantage or? Uh, Loka, are you actively making this harder? No. Okay, then you do have advantage because Pashmina is helping you. And Loka is also there. Yeah, I think I think that is precisely correct. He's just there. <laughs> eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen and eighteen. Um that's my D twenty. Okay. Yeah, so you end up with an okay price for Fennec feed. Um and in quantities. So um it's gonna end up being about like five gold a sack and a sack is like let's say you you get a rate of roughly a gold per pound um in units of five um that you feel pretty confident you would be able to sell at a rate of like maybe seven gold a bag once you actually hike it out there um provided you get it out there before it spoils um, and also your negotiation skills once you attempt to offload it. <laughs> um, so how much would you like to purchase? Hmm. Well, Haisan only has the money for two bags right now. What does everybody else have? <laughs> um, I am not there, but I have the money. <laughs> <laughs> I have 23 total gold on I'm gonna, I have 55. If you all want to also fit in the cart, um, when you travel... Fill it with it. Yeah, I was about to say, I think, like, if you want to be able to also travel in the cart, probably soft cap at five bags, so 25 pounds. Um, and hard... And if you want to carry more than that, you can probably carry up to 100 pounds, so... Uh, 
20 bags? Yeah. Uh, but then you're going to have to walk alongside the cart. Oh, God. <laughs> um... And this is for what? The feed or the grand? The feed. Feed. Mm. Yeah. I think the fi- I think five. I think just five bags sounds fine. So minus yeah, twenty five only... gold, hoping for roughly a like eight gold profit plus supplies once you sell it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, how can we wanna? Uh, I'll I'll take out one gold since I want to have some money on me if that's okay. Yeah. Um, so five 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 pound bags of fennec feed. Uh, I can add that to your inventory specifically, Hayson. Wonderful, very good. Let's put that in the chest. And then I'm spending twenty. So it'd be twenty four. Do you want to do twenty four between the two of us? <laughs> okay. So we'll do twelve each. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate that it doesn't... <laughs> I need to do math. <laughs> what, 23 minus 12? 11. Well, it's not in gold pieces, it's in silver pieces. So I have to, like... Oh... Uh, okay. Lame. And, okay, so... So, 120... wait, no. Right? 120 silver pieces, then? 120... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that for the next one. Uh, you now have uh, five, five, five pound bags of fennec feed that you can lug back to your cart at your leisure. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Trade goods, find a guy, visit library, visit courier. Okay. Trade goods, check. Okay. <laughs> hey, son, it's got like a list. You're just like, you do this, we need to do that. <laughs> yes. My little grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to start a ledger. <laughs> All right. Next thing we need to do is visit. <laughs> I suppose we next thing we should do is find a guide, perhaps, or find uh, or or visit a courier. Well, uh, or visit our friend the courier. Oh, uh, what do you think first? Hmm. Let's make sure that we can travel safely. <laughs> uh, so perhaps a map and maybe some advice. That sounds swell. <sighs> uh, you note while perusing the markets that there are several booths full of armed individuals advertising uh, mercenary road protection. Mm. Hey, someone says... I don't believe we need mercenaries. What we need is perhaps... Maybe... We need somebody who actually knows the desert itself. Right. Yeah, Uh I don't think muscle is the thing we're lacking in at the moment. Uh Hmm. Because we definitely don't have, like, a map of the desert, do we? Not currently. I don't think so. There's... They are fairly available. Um, depends on the kind of map you want. Um, purely by geographical, fine. Most uh, merchant trains, like, very much secret away their own maps with special markings for specific locations and trade-offs and things like that. But like, if you just want need, like, a map of the region that notes all the relevant towns and how to get there... That's, like, fairly available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> uh, Can yeah. I... Hmm? I'm so sorry. I just, I feel very lost at the moment of, like, where we are with the things that we need to do. Yeah. We know we need to head north 
for the, the bracelet. What about the scarab, though? I know that we talked to the... Well, that's the courier that we need to talk to, because they're going to have the most relevant information. Uh... But didn't... In my, maybe I'm mixing this up, because I, th I think I might be mixing this up with the Adventure Zone, unfortunately, but <laughs> didn't didn't the guy say that the courier wasn't was going to be kind of stodgy because that like they didn't know who the actual person who bought the thing was the courier knows but th you've been told that one of their advertised uh one of their professional prides is discretion secretive yeah so then but it's, i don't think we need to know necessarily who the client is we need to know where to even find the scarab in the first place like who would seek the scarab yeah. Aside from the client. And you know, the things you know, uh, other things you know about this carob are that it was stolen alongside a bunch of other jewels um, when someone broke into the Gem Cutter Society. Um, and it's likely still in the Phasia region somewhere um, because it would be really difficult to fence anywhere else. So why would we want to talk to this courier then? Because... They're the only other right. person who would have been exposed to the crystal to know anything about it. Because we we already we've grilled the the gem cutters. They don't know anything else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey Eli, would you mind me? Yes. Go. Ahead. The courier might know if a if there's anyone who might have anything against the uh, client. Um, like might know enough about the crystal to know who would be interested in stealing it for other motivations uh, might have a general enough direction for us to be able to continue to look for the scarab like, they're, they're, also, like, they're also a professional courier like if you have questions about travel in general they may also be able to answer them mm, good point like, they're not a, a courier just in Elthra. I, personally, I would like... I'm more interested in talking to... I wasn't, but you've convinced me. I'm more interested in talking to the courier than I am just finding a map maker. You know what I mean? I, I think that... Has the I think we can fast forward the map thing. <laughs> like, is it just possible to say? Yeah, you can just ha you can just buy a map. <laughs> and then we, uh, yeah, and then we just we actually talk to the courier. Yeah. Uh, maps I are think... kind of expensive. Oh boy, how expensive! <laughs> like five gold. They don't have like they do have printing presses, but then it, most maps are handmade. It would be nice to have because I don't want us to get out there and then we fuck up a bunch of rolls. <laughs> I'm fine with retconning saying that it's like 10 gold. Sorry, you cut so out bye. a little bit in the middle. I'm right? sorry. I was like literally stretching during it. I'm fine with retconning it saying like Zeron left like 10 gold with the party to buy things while they went off to do their thing. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm absolutely okay with that. The only thing is, they're just like, I better get the change. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go ahead and just subtract 10 gold from their inventory. Reasonable. Okay, 11 gold that used to be a lot more gold, <laughs> like two days ago. <laughs> uh, then, yeah. Map acquired? Map acquired. Uh, I do, I have one. It does need to be edited uh, to include some things that it doesn't have on it right now. Um, but I can send it again. Oh, no. I think it just is the one, the most recent, yeah, the most recent one in art and pictures. Um, it's still just relevant. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will work something. on updating it. So that will also include um, a relevant couple of uh, towns, uh, notably the forest north up by that uh, peninsula where you've been told to go. Um, is a town called Nazgal, um, N-A-Z-G-A-L. Um, and there are a couple towns between 
you specifically there are a couple oasis towns between Althra and Nazgul called Rose Lake and Quickland. Okay. Um, so in text for voice, that order is Althra, then Rose Lake. Quickland. And then the very the And then scrolls. Nazgul. Um, and it's roughly a day's travel between each of those locations. Um, wow. Rose Lake and Quickland are not the. Um, the I mean, the Nazgul. The, the Phasia's like big it's not like super big um and a day's travel is very far um so uh it's a whole day yeah it's a whole day um especially it's faster along the mountain roads um you will go much further uh in a day's travel between althra and nazgul than you did in a day's travel between mirage and althra um, mm. because you were crossing like the dunes uh, and very much traversing through soft sand uh, on that part of the, the route. And it uh, gets much rockier near the mountains um, and is just easier to traverse. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I will uh, make sure to add those to the map when I get a chance. Um, notably, Rose Lake and Quickland are, are smaller towns than even Mirage. Um, they really basically e exist as like waypoints coast. along the way. Yeah, they are, they are uh, like basically yeah, little forts of that oh, protect the water. Yep. Ever been in a gas station town? <laughs> yeah. That. Most of America. <laughs> um, sweet. Now, what I don't remember is where we're supposed to find the quarry. <laughs> Um, they're around. Like, they're probably nearer to the guild houses than anything else. Um, they're a professional, and they're not, like, well-known, but they're known enough that if you ask around, you can find their place of business fairly easily. Um, That's nice. Yeah. They're part of um, one... There is the larger um, uh, 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 correspondence guild... Uh, that they are a part of, but all of the individual couriers uh, effectively run their own businesses within the Correspondence Guild. Okay. Then... Uh... Then yeah, then Pejmina wants to go there. Alright. Uh, yeah. Do it. You absolutely may. Uh, Zoran, oh, uh, Caroline's gone, but Zoran may, may return whenever he wants to. <laughs> make him um, a chance yeah. to be here. So you make your way over to the Correspondence Guild, and you are directed to the office. Not unlike, like, a, 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 um, like a little lawyer's office. Like, it's a little cubby office business area that is its kind of own thing within this larger building full of all these little offices. If you've ever been in one of those buildings downtown where it's, like, very old mm -hmm. and there's all these businesses and these little, little, uh, like, addresses within it, um, it's yeah. very similar to that. We, did we get the courier's name? Risa. 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 Right, Risa. <laughs> Even if that's not what we said last episode. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> everyone, everyone who listened to last episode, for, yeah. forget it. Her name, <laughs> her name is Risa. She, she's a... I almost feel like it was Risa. Uh, yeah, you're right. It was. Um, <laughs> and no one will say otherwise for the rest of the campaign. Um, uh, Risa's a desert era Um right. as, as much as you know. Uh, and yeah, she's hanging out in her little office. Uh, has like a stack of things going on. Um, has a, a coat nearby and like um, a, a map up on the wall with a bunch of pins in it. Um, uh, and she looks up as kind of the trio of you, potentially the, the four <laughs> of you, the um, kind of like either hover outside or, or head in. She's just like, oh. mm. hello. 
Uh, hi. Uh, Risa? That's me. She kind of like taps the desk and there's a little metal engraved nameplate on <laughs> Our sincerest apologies for, for barging in. We are three, we're just simply three travelers. We hoped that we or could four. ask- <laughs> Depending on Zaron. <laughs> Uh, we were hoping that we could simply ask you perhaps a few quest few questions about well the disappear the disappearance of, the disappearance of a black jeweled scarab ah. that I suppose this is not the first time you've been asked no no I've talked to the gem cutter society and the uh, hawk guard and a few others is there a particular um, organization you represent Rutekta, Rutekta Zab from the the board. <laughs> ah, you. so from the Gem Cutter Society. All right, yeah. uh, excellent. Um, I suppose I can I can divulge what details I can. Um, uh, what what would you like to know? Specifically, what what we what we require one what we need to know is perhaps. Not necessarily the identity of the buyer, but how if we we could ways we could possibly get in contact with the buyer, if possible. Um, I I am more than willing to lend you my services, I suppose. Um, do, do you have it? Do you have a missive written? A missive. That's... You intend for me to give a message to my client? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, wait. Uh, two gold delivery, a gold per page. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> Petrina's gonna, like, whisper in your ear and she's like, uh, maybe we just... be a little more vague. I don't think we need to talk to the client directly or anything or even indirectly okay so sorry I need to ask about the store, store again it was stolen from the client correct no it was stolen from the gem cutter society so the gem cutter society finished it and was storing it and the day that Riso went to pick it up um, they found out that the gem cutter society storeroom had been broken into and a whole bunch of gems had been looted, including the scarab. Okay. Oh, inter okay. Sorry, thought, uh... It was definitely broken into and not just, like... Correct, like, like traditionally it burglarized. Be, it had to be forcefully opened and... Correct. And okay. So it's not like it could have been an inside job where someone with access, uh... It, it, aesthetics would point to not that. Okay. Making sure we're not missing too much then. <laughs> um... Mostly what would be, would be helpful to us is... Clearly you can't trade it here in the city. Uh, would be exceedingly difficult, yes. Where else can you trade such a thing? Or take it? Or does well, it against the client? I mean, um, you know. From what I know about the, the gem trading business as a whole, um, you could, I mean, you could certainly sell it wherever you wanted. The issue then becomes how much you believe it's worth. Um, the piece itself is incredibly valuable in, in so far as it is unique and large and the gem was enchanted uh, so clearly it had some kind of physical utility in addition to its physical beauty um, which would fetch a high price but it's a high profile item so if you want a high price for it you need someone who's maybe a private collector um, someone with a vast amount of money but is not particularly scrupulous or you cut your losses, sell it for what you can to someone who doesn't know any better and move on. 
Um, really depends on motive, broadly speaking. Um, hmm. If this were a targeted uh, theft, I think it more likely to be the former, where, where they attempt to find some kind of high-profile buyer, and perhaps could have had a profile buyer, high-profile buyer set up before even committing the theft. Um, but uh, honestly, if you ask me, I think it was just b bad place, bad time. Someone stole a bunch of gems. The I'm amulet was fucking with it. Either. Yeah. Hmm. And you're not privy to the type of enchantment, are you? Only that it was enchanted. I don't do... In, uh, mm, wigs me out. Not a magic person. Hmm. Uh, um. Hey, will simply ask. Is it... If this uh, item is of specific, is of notable value, though, is it po um, is this at all possible that your client? Do you believe that your client might have been specifically targeted, as in their property was stolen, or their commission was stolen purposefully? It's possible, but I doubt it. Um... Why would that be? It seemed like a random burglary. It seemed like someone knew where the Gem Cutter Society was, scooped a bunch of gems, and left. I don't think it was like this conspiracy. And much less people knew who the client was, which they don't. It wasn't insured, so it's not like it was some kind of... Aha, I'll insure this valuable thing and then destroy it to take... No, the, my client's furious. Mm -hmm. They have no... They're willing to pay a ransom to some bastard bandit just so they can have it back. So... Seeing as Althra is at least somewhat off limits for trying to find a buyer, what other city would have people rich enough or naive enough to make that purchase. Perhaps eastward, perhaps? I know there are cities on there are other cities I'd, more populous on the western co on the eastern coast. That'd be my expectation. Either your low tier aristocracy of whatever little towns are around. People rich enough to get themselves into trouble but not smart enough to know what they have. Um, or recluses, some hermit with more money than they know what to do with, finding a shiny bauble along the way. Mm. Though, if it was simply, though it was, if it was simply just some poor sap in Althra who doesn't know what to do with it, it could be literally any street or street urchin or any. Unlucky sod, that makes... It's entirely possible some... And in that case, if it were some urchin, some uh, thief who got lucky with their raid and didn't get caught, then as soon as those flyers go up, as soon as someone... Right, as soon as that becomes high profile, they'll pitch it into the sewer. We first heard of it from all the way in Mirage, so I can't imagine that this city isn't about to be... You know, That's why... My client's offering to pay ransom is if someone who's scared of handling it has it, they'd rather it returned and this thief go free than the item be lost forever. How long ago was how long ago was this were the how long ago was this offer of a ransom? Uh, immediately spread? after we found out it was stolen. And how long ago was that? A few weeks. And this was spread all over the city, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Or localized to any specific area? Uh, everywhere so in Phasia. So it's probably made it quite far by now. Uh, it seems we're gonna be at this for a while. And yes. probably not along our northern route. <sighs> so it may very well be something... So it may, may very well be something we simply have to look for on our way back. 
Look, I... If I may offer you some honest advice. You. As someone who has done... I, I used to do the investigator thing. I used to do the whole, aha, I'll find your wife kind of shit. Um, and... Uh, keep an eye out. Take the money, right? Take the money, take the information. Figure it out, like... Do what you can. If you find it, come back. Take the reward. Do whatever the fuck you want with it. But if you're going to try and actively pursue the thing, good luck. Like, it's... Unless you start getting deep into the, the uh, rougher sides of, of town and of the desert, then I don't know how effectively you'll be able to really do anything which by all means if you want to get you get waist deep in bandits by all means you look uh, it looks at you loka it's just like you look at like the tough enough type i don't think you'd have you you've got at least a shot of coming out with that out of that with both kidneys but you know if that's not oh. really your deal i I'm, I'm not sure i'd recommend it personally Thanks. Well, thank you for the advice. You've been sure very helpful. I think at least mm. it gives us a better idea of uh, how to continue now that we've gotten started in a sense. Hmm. Let's see. Very well. Uh, it looks at watch. Uh, consultation fee is about a silver an hour. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> And you're, you're coming up on it, so... Well, oh, forgive us. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Yes. Uh, it's all just kind of silver anyways, just because... <laughs> we'll Appreciated. I understand the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally added silver. Let me um, remove the silver. We all do our best here. I... Pashmina. Mm. Um... You, what time of day? It's still relatively early in the afternoon, or is it? Mid afternoon. Probably mid, yeah, mid to late. Afternoon. You did get up like in the after afternoon, and you've bought goods, done some planning, visited a place. So like mid afternoon by now. Um, Pashmina, if you if you wish to um head to the library now, would probably be a good amount of time so you can actually get in your research before uh, before time. And if you see Zoran, f feel free to take him with you. I was... hope you don't mind, but there was some business I hoped to attend to with Loka. Oh. I mean... What do you want me for? What did I do? <laughs> uh, Loka says... Uh, yeah, oh, oh, right. Hassan says... Hassan is not Loka. Um, um, uh, don't worry, uh, that thing, a, th a thing, a thing that will be very valuable and involves you receiving money. Hmm, I feel like money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you have to come back with me to the same kind of society. You, you, you want me to take you there? After. After? Oh, okay. That's wonderful. I still need to go to the Junkutter Society. <laughs> oh shit. Should we just I go there? Now's first a good time that Zoran <laughs> yeah. finally finds everyone again. <laughs> yeah. Then perhaps we just oh. go to the Gem Cutter Society first then. I wanna get my voice with. Oh. There you all are. Oh, Zoran. Pasha, uh, have I missed much in my absence? Uh we talked to the courier. And oh, truly. We did learn some, mostly that, uh, this might be a long endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much, but you're making it sound worse. Well, it's just that it's been gone, the scarab has been gone for several weeks at this point. No one's taken the ransom 
And anyone who... Anyone relevant enough to buy this thing is, you know, over on the other side of the desert. So, and we'd be going back to the coast. It could be anywhere at yeah. this point. So, right about now, there's something a few of uh, seems that a few of us wish to go to the Gem Cutter Society again, briefly, if you, or for other me reasons, if you wish to accompany us there. I'm more than happy to. I've no business, personally, but... I'm fine traveling with friends, mm -hmm. shall I say. <laughs> Alright. You are right. free to uh, head back over to the Gem Cutter Society. Sirsa is still at the front desk. Um, Jorm is presumably working. Was there any change from the uh, 10 gold I lent? No. I believe it is gold. now 5 uh, it said It's now 5 yeah, it's, gold. It's 5 gold. Okay. Uh, and you have a very nice map of the Fasia region and its trade routes. Alright, I add my five gold back, thank you. Continue, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sirsa looks up and recognizes you. Oh, uh, welcome back. Uh, here to pick up your commission, points at you, Pashmina. Yes. Uh, here, and she uh, kind of steps uh, over to the smith, um, pulls open this like uh, one of these little drawers that is clearly labeled. Um, and pulls out the uh, fused lightning uh, glass beads that are now uh, strung on this, like, really nice, delicate little chain. Um, it's cute. And she comes back and says, you paid for this yesterday, so here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy it. Puts it on immediately. Just kind of admires it. It's fun. Uh, it has now increased in value. Ah. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Which is just fun. Change this value. To... It was previously like, I, like lightning glass isn't worth a ton, um, and you paid I think like five silver for the thing, so it's worth like five to ten silver now. Hmm. Not bad. That's a gold there. Yeah. Oh shit! We should have taken that light. That would have been. We could have turned a hefty profit on that. <laughs> Well, so that that's one of the reasons that the Gem Cutter Society is so popular at that festival. Yes, because mm. they just turn it into baubles. Yeah. Shit. Especially the big ones. You can cut some really nice things out of lightning glass. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I just noticed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it would have been heavy to transport, probably. Would have been. Yeah. Glass. Glass is pretty heavy. It Glass is be. pretty heavy. Glass definitely can be pretty heavy. And delicate. Which is a bad combo for traveling long distances. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh... Which is part of the reason it's valuable. <laughs> it's because it sucks to transport. Ashmina just likes jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the shiny. <laughs> she thought it was cute. <laughs> mm. And Loka? Loka has thing? Yeah. Um, what is the name of the guild master again? Jorm. Jorm. Master Smith Jorm. Can I talk to Jorm? Uh, sure. Uh, he might be in the middle of something, but he should be out in a minute. Um, and Sirsa kind of like, she actually, there's a, a series of little strings um, on, at her desk, and she tugs one tightly, and you hear like a little chime. Um, back in the workshop and after like a few minutes um, Jorm comes out uh, more looks like he's more dressed for work than he was previously he's got kind of like it, it's funny because he's a jeweler but he's got like a, a more of a smith's smock on with the like, like I mentioned before the glasses with the multiple little magnifying lenses and these kind of like thick gloves um, he comes back out and he's just like ah you all uh, and any news Have a question. Oh, certainly. I'll send me a couple of questions. Um, so, we were talking to Lisa. Mm hmm. And she said that the breaking looked kind of random. So, my question is um, where is. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, how do I want to answer this? 
dropping the Luka <laughs> and becoming a human again. Let me think. Well, where did you store the scarab in relation to the rest of the gems that were starting? She said that they just kind of were, it was like a smashing blob. But if it was all piled together, would you keep your enchanted... They... Very expensive thing away from the, the gems themselves? Or is it no, the so they were kept. So we have in, in our uh, safe area... Um, we have a, a section for completed pieces. Um, so things that mm. have been cut, polished, fitted, etc., which is our staging area to bring them out here. Um, and uh, he gestures to all that series of like little drawers that Circe just pulled uh, uh, Peshmina's beads out of, um, where they can be then retrieved and displayed to our clients. So while it was kept in uh, what was a, what we believe to be a secure area, um, it was kept alongside our other finished pieces, which were stolen as well. Hmm. And the only thing he, so the only thing separating it between it and somebody else was a, perhaps a, a pane of glass or so, a lock maybe. Uh, a a I forgive me if I don't go into detail with our security publicly um of course but uh, a, a series of physical uh security measures uh we have since oh. invested in arcane security measures which has been going well he sighs <laughs> <laughs> was the break in itself was it messy very I... we had to fix oh. the whole door uh, they didn't go for the lock, they went for the hinges. Oh my. Um, ah. Which, uh, yeah, I, 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 we have had to hand it to them. Uh, it turns out all the uh, 12 tumbler locking pins in the world will not stay, stay a large hammer against wrought iron. <laughs> We're fairly certain it was only... The, the festivals get quite loud around here. Um, we're fairly certain the only reason they were able to do it on notice was because of the commotion outside, because such a clamor would have been head-splitting otherwise. It happened on a festival night? It did. What was the festival? Uh, I believe it was the early harvest festival? Not the late harvest festival, but the, the previous harvest festival. Mm. Um, like, a few weeks ago. And then the other thing that I wanted to ask was, um, this, uh, the, the scarab was enchanted? Where was the enchantment on it? Uh, we're actually not aware. The gem was enchanted before we cut it. Uh, we oh. were not privy to its specific enchantments. Um, there's some uh, precautions you need to take when handling enchanted items, uh, especially raw uh, enchanted items before they're cut um, but uh, uh, broadly speaking especially from a, a smith's perspective um, and, and provided we're not uh, splitting the jewel in any kind of significant way um, the enchantments can remain intact while you shape such a gem delicate process but premium prizes It's very likely that the person who took this thing probably didn't even know that it was enchanted. It's possible. And likely, honestly. We, we typically don't handle enchanted goods. Unless they were privy to secret information. Which is... Possible. Not going to rule it out, but... The night it was taken, was it the item just completed? Um... It had been completed like, maybe 13 hours beforehand. Um, finishing touches. We, we we tend to revisit our work. It's it's a perfectionism thing. Um, so done is, is rarely truly done until it's in the client's hands. Um, but for, for all intents and purposes, it was complete, yes. Interesting. 
Was it a secret project that was being done here? Hmm? Was it a more secret project? Like, a very low amount of staff knew of it? We, I mean... I don't mean to be no, accused no, when I, I say No, no, I understand. It. Staff tend to... <laughs> We're all union here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh... But... I'm glad. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we, we tend to take great pride in our work, but also um, we're a guild for a reason. We tend to help each other with our work. We talk about what we're working on. We tend to, to discuss. Um, and and obviously, I, I honestly, like, anonymous client, communicating only through courier, high paying, like, people talk. It's, it's a bit of a gossip item. It's, it's hard to, it would be very difficult to keep people from talking about it in such a way. Um... But nothing, I don't, I don't suspect any of, of my workers, I don't think. Especially given, at Gem Cut, we, we pay our staff very well. Um, partially for the reason that you cannot trust underpaid employees to handle valuable goods. Um, well, and why go to all the trouble of break a door off its hinges if you're already working here? It if... seems like. It does seem if they were planning on taking one, they would simply pocket the item and leave. Um, of course. But in the same vein, if you take it something, could look less suspicious of a this is true. possible employee. Again, uh, this is all hypothetical. I am no, not. No, I I, I understand. Accurate. You're you're being very thorough in your investigation, and I appreciate that. I, you can tell that Master that Master Smith Jorm is like interested in actively helping you you clearly seem to be the most engaged on this of like all the groups that have approached him about this beforehand um and and he seems willing to give you as, as the information he want that y you seem to want um but no I, I, that's fair um i i know that the, in, in the enchanting guild they, they have had a, a problem of selling information actually previously um mm. wherein um members would for a price, discuss projects, clients, delivery dates, whatnot. But it's uh, a bad look if you get caught doing that kind of thing. And, and like, I don't, I don't, I don't suspect any of my smiths. But the enchanting guild. Uh, they didn't touch the item. It was enchanted by our client. It was acquired enchanted. Um, right. It seems like part of the need to know basis and. Apparently, nobody needs to know. And nobody knows of the enchantment, correct? No, it, it does make it a bit more difficult to identify. They'll scare him <laughs> with the gem in it. <laughs> it. It is very visually distinct, I'll give you that. So it's um, not like there's just a bunch of large no metallic. unique piece we, we 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 adore the scarab motif but usually for little thi trinkets earrings rings bracelets that kind of thing never so this was large this was like and he kind of like balls his his large fist up and he's just like it, it, it was a, a good sized gem it was it was very impressive i'm mildly surprised that your organization didn't attempt to identify what sort of enchantment. I know you believe your clients, but magic can get very volatile. Very much so, and and, and we understand that, uh, which is why I and honestly, it's why we ask premium prices to handle enchanted goods. It's a delicate process. We need to be very protected while working on the gems. Um, that see, trust me, the secrecy comes at a cost. Mm. I'm sure. I think that's about as much as we can get from this. Hmm. All right, then shall we be on our way? Yes. Are you, is that uh, satisfying? And it looks to Loka specifically. Never 
Yeah, just you know, we'll, we'll give Lofa a little like pat on the shoulder. <laughs> I, I'm also frustrated, my friend. I understand. It is unfortunate that uh, random acts of theft are a lot harder to get a beat on than something with more purpose. This is I'm this is not. Because you can say that random acts of piracy are just random, but we always are very careful about who we really run after. We? we? <laughs> You're a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. No. Oh. You know, I have. Hey, Hassan have... raises an eyebrow and doesn't say a word, but Hassan j j looks like he just got an idea. Uh, you know, I have work to do. I <laughs> wish you all the yeah. best on your investigation. Thanks for the bracelet. <laughs> of course. I'm glad you like it. I do. <laughs> okay, bye. Jorm heads back into the smithy. <laughs> Hey, son, is... <laughs> You're a pirate? <laughs> and like I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 I'm certain. I'm certain it's nothing... I'm sorry, certain it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Why is there anything to worry about? <laughs> huh? What <laughs> What are you rolling over there? <laughs> mm. Mm. So, we still have some time. Loka, would you perhaps like to attend me for a fun, a fun little activity? Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, um, I'm well, sure uh, I will be see. We will be seeing you two then later, back at, back at the, the two-headed peasant. Yeah, of course. Uh, do have fun. Do have fun at the library. I'm sorry, I'm not joining you again. No, that's all. That's all right. Don't worry about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you. Uh, Zoran. Do you want yes. to go to the library with me? Um, sure. There's no harm in it. Right. Eventually, <laughs> 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 starts to head to the library. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Hisan's gonna look at Loka and says, Um, Loka. Uh, I'm not asking this because. You are to you are most assuredly not some I don't I'm not particularly worried about a pirate, but say if you were a pirate, what is the most help what in your mind would be the most helpless ki uh, helpless mark, the easiest mark of a person that you can find? Is this the one that has the least protection? How easy of a mark would you say that I am? Do I need to roll for this? Uh, let me just look at some things real quick. Alright. Uh, look, uh, what's your perception? You got a plus four in perception. You got a passive perception of 14. Yeah. So just like sizing Heysan up, like, clearly, clearly sharp, clearly a perceptive bird. Um, would lose a fight instantaneously. What, <laughs> just from being stolen? Or like... Um, mugged? Stolen from? Uh, anything? I mean, even I can beat the out of so that's something. <laughs> Okay, then I was right to bring you along. Oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> what we are going to do, Loka, is look into the- hopefully, look into the one avenue that we haven't looked into yet. And that's to see what the urchins, the thieves, and the- and the other <gasps> underbelly of the city what she knows about this- about this- uh, about this gem. There's no doubt they have been looking for it. 
What? Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Oh yes. I'm so. Not sure if I wanted to do it. Oh, oh no 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 no. It's it's a perfectly it's a perfectly reasonable avenue to look 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 upon. And I was just needed to make sure that if I was going to be going anywhere. That I wouldn't be immediately set upon by everybody and taken for everything I have. <sighs> it happened, but we can always try. Yes. So, what I wish to do <laughs> is okay. Tell me if this sounds like a really bad plan that over the table. Um, I can make up uh, an object up to worth up to six, sixty gold up here. I can just make do that. Do you think making myself an easy mark and luring a bunch of thieves out or gang out would be an easy way to get in contact with the seedy outer belly, or is that a terrible, terrible idea? That sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. You could that... do some fake bribing, but then you would have a fucking uh, price yeah. on your head. <laughs> I, I think it would be easier, at least in my head, it would be easier just to seek them out. Yeah, let's Rather just see. Than become a mark. And try and swindle the swindlers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I completely yeah, overthink it. Because once they realize it. it's fake, they'll just fucking kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, like... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There's good. gotta be something in it for them. There's gotta be something actually in it for them. Yeah. I do. I like. I like the overall idea, though. I, I like going to to like the the black market side, <laughs> the skeevy the, the side. Yeah. I yeah. wish I could have you roll just like an intuition check. That's not really a thing I can do. Like, uh, I'll give actually both of you like if you're you're looking for criminals, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll take insight or investigation, and Loka, if you roll insight, I'll let you roll with advantage. I need a drink really bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll for insight. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do really much of anything. I got a four and a six on the die. Not ideal. Shit. Not ideal. Oh, no. Uh, not ideal. That's an eight. That's an eight and a six. So. Fuck. Should I try rolling investigation? Yeah. Okay. If you would like to. 16. 16's pretty good. Um, so here's the thing about black markets in an open market. Um, this city has, like, sewer systems, but not really an undercity in the same way that some, like, metropolis like Kyla has. And the funny thing about having a market as big as this one is that the black market just is the market, but you need to know who to talk to and where to go. Um, there are lots of legitimate businesses running gray market and black market schemes on the side or in the back of their tent or whatever they're doing. Um, and it really just takes an amount of uh, effort high um, to uh, get to the find to find those individuals individually. Um, Loka, you know this conceptually, um, but just walking around, everyone just looks like too much of a dweeb to be a criminal. Like, these, these they don't feel tough. These are our cushy merchants. These are people who sit in their little booths all day and sell spices and, and buns and meats. And, like, who, who, no one here is buying jewels or paintings or drugs like these, these just don't seem like hardened criminals to you. Look, look at those talking about meat stocks. None of them, none of them, they're not top, they're not rugged. Are you, so how loud are you saying this? Uh, loud enough for you to hear at the very least. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very wonderful. So um, I can't very easily identify what might be more illicit, an illicit, more illicit. Well, so side. you rolled pretty well on investigation. So yeah. the thing that you're really looking out for is weird stuff going on. Less trying to judge the character of these individuals, more trying to suss out 
when an illegal deal is occurring, trying to figure out, like, who's doing what. And after, like, an hour, maybe a couple hours of watching the market, you can start to identify some patterns. Um, you start to see, in particular, a, a booth of uh, tool sellers, in particular. Uh, they seem to be selling a lot of uh, metal goods, um, lots of hammers and uh, fine crafting tools, leather working tools, stuff like that. Um, and every once in a while, someone will call up, come up, they'll have a brief exchange of words. The merchant will bring them into the back of the tent. And when they come out of the back of the tent, that person is wearing a new scabbard. Mm, so weapons. Some kind of new scabbard, a new sheath, maybe a bow. All right. Okay. So what we need to look for is specific. So what we hmm. so you've identified an suspicious what you could what you would feel comfortable saying is probably a member of the criminal aspect of <laughs> Althroth. Okay. Loka, um, hey, someone will say, um, Loka, I'm, have you ever, in your definitely not pirating days, had to deal with, I don't know, going up and, and selling stolen property? Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. <laughs> Are we presupposing that this is a hypothetical conversation? Or... Um, yes. Okay. Yes. So hypothetically, yes. Okay, then. Um... That gentleman over there appears to be selling some interesting goods that I believe that I believe don't need to <laughs> that I believe he shouldn't be selling. Um how would you like to in begin this conversation? Cuz I have no idea how these what what to say to these men. These kind of people. Um, neither does Matt the player, so I'm gonna ask for a bit of help, because Loka definitely would know. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. I... You wouldn't Look. catch me dead knowing how to do this. So. It's, uh, so, you know, it, it's gonna be similar cadence across different kinds of locations, but this is a fundamentally different market. Um, but you're also a little bit of an oddball. So, yeah. like, as with most kind of social maneuvers of this type, 90% of it is confidence. Um, and the other 10% is not obviously being a cop. Um, so, um, like, as far as you're aware, Loka, because you've been on the, probably both ends of this, both being a buyer and a seller. Yeah. Um, the big thing is be direct, be brief, and be quiet. Um, so go up, let the person know, but in no uncertain terms that you know what they are selling and you want to give them money for it. Um, and then proceed with business. Okay. What we need to do is see what, what words have been going around. <sighs> And we only have so much money. And this will no doubt cost money to do. I'm just I'm just trying to think of how I want to approach this. Um because there's there's the correct way to do it. And then there's the way that I'm thinking of, which 
almost certainly is going to make me sound like a cop. <laughs> Which I'm, is the way that I'm more interested in going. <laughs> I am fine with however you wish to do it. <laughs> Either way sounds incredibly fun. Um... I mean, maybe worst case scenario, you sound like a corrupt cop. <laughs> mm. There are a lot of approaches to this social situation that I think you could take. Yeah, and I can give suggestions if you would like. Um, no, I, I feel I, free I to formulate. Them, I I think. <clears throat> oh God, here we go. This is <laughs> so, uh, what? Well, just remind me. They're they're selling weapons. weapons. Under the guise okay. of fine tools, which they are also clearly selling, um, but yes. they've clearly got some side business going on. Right, right, right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Loka is gonna walk up to them and just be like, um, "Hello." Hey there! Welcome to Vikla's Goods. I can't believe my breast just cracked. It's been too old for that shit. <laughs> um, I I can relate. Yeah, so, um, look, between you and me, I know what's going on, okay? Um, and I'm not interested in buying, but I'm interested in information. And I'm hoping that you might be able to help me out that. Um, if we're looking... How do, okay, first of all, how's this person reacting to what I'm saying, just in general? Uh, I'm they afraid. are <laughs> listening. Okay. Um, and observing. We're gonna do some dice in a minute. <laughs> <All right. laughs> they, they're, it doesn't look like they are rejecting your proposition outright. Alright. I was I was just hoping that it wasn't uh, immediately just like, alright, time to kill. <laughs> right. They, they are not reaching for a knife. Yeah. Uh, it's broad um, daylight. That would be obscene. Um, I don't know what's up. Oh. I'm not here to get anybody in trouble. I'm not here to do nothing more stupid than what you're doing, or against anybody that might be doing anything. You know what I mean? Well, we're looking for the golden star that got stolen from the Gem Cutter Society, and I just was wondering if you would know anything about what like, that might have gotten me. Possible more cases for that. If you're even in green, to like in the deeper society of things, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> All right. This is kind of where I'm at. <laughs> uh, excellent. A little <laughs> rambly, but you got the point across at least. Um, all I, don't, right. I don't know if Loka has the ability to be brief. <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, but you are clearly going for persuasion over, like, intimidation or something. Um, Correct. Yeah. So, uh, are you... You're just saying that, right? Like, do you have any specific kind of, like, posturing you're kind of doing? I'm also interested, Hassan, are you nearby? Are you doing any kind of posturing to help? Um, or are you letting Loka just do this? This is beyond Hassan's capabilities. Although, Matt, would, do, you, do you want Hassan to try to help? You do whatever you want to do. Okay. That's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> I think Hassan is just sort of awkwardly st uh, is just sort of awkwardly loitering around another shop maybe not exactly knowing what to do because this is beyond his capabilities <laughs> trying not to look or er, trying not to look at them but definitely looks a little awkward right now. Excellent. Uh, then, uh, Loka, flat persuasion. Hell yeah, plus four. Hell yeah, six total. Oh no. Oh no. All right, we're going to roll insight just to see how much of a bead uh, this person has on you. Vikla. That's a three. Um... Three insight versus six persuasion. <laughs> Listen, uh, that's double. The persuasion is double what he double. rolled. That's true. <laughs> double. Um, you're not very persuasive, 
Um, but they're not very insightful. No. <laughs> well, and the thing is that, like, you're not lying or anything. Like, this isn't deception. You're not, you're clearly not trying to trick them into anything. Yeah. Um, they just also don't really know what to make of you or your whole kind of disposition. And he kind of, like, looks around and is just like, tell you what, it'll cost you. But if you want to take a step into the back and talk, we can talk. And then, I, is he making a move for the back? Or? Not yet. You gotta pay him. Oh, so we're gonna talk money up front, and then go to the back and talk. Okay, how much you want? Oh, I don't know. Tips maybe a couple gold. Conversations five. Mm. Pretty fucking steep. Not gonna lie. I'll throw in a crowbar. Uh, if you're uh, a crowbar for. Uh, I don't know. To make this look like anything even remotely resembling a legitimate business dealing. An alibi. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> yeah. What's the crowbar? What's the spot? Well, they're actually pretty good. And he starts, like, selling the crowbars. He's like, alright, so it's, like, made out of pretty strong steel. Smithed locally, of course. Um, it's got, like, a uh, solid two foot, couple hooks, look, hook on the front. Look, so, 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 I'm not here for the fucking crowbar. You're <laughs> 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 not going to tell us now I'm here. <laughs> Well then, are you gonna are you gonna give me money to talk, or you're gonna fuck off? Ah, funny pinches. All right, here we go. Loka pulls out his five coins. All right, and he steps into the back with you. Hey, son. Uh, Loka disappears into a tent with an arms dealer. Um, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> there's weapons in there. Surprise. Um. A pretty reasonable display. It, you can tell that they, he's sold, like, probably a third of his stock at the moment. Um, kind of a wide gamut between, like, axes and swords and spears. Very popular are small blades, daggers, stilettos, the like. Um, small selection of, like, bludgeoning weapons. The big fan of the, like, knuckles. Um, getting more popular nowadays. Couple real nasty looking blades and maybe a couple poisons. Um, but uh, he takes a seat. Um, gestures for you to do likewise, and it's just like, so, uh, you're looking for the kid who snatched the, uh, the scarab? Yeah, we don't, I don't know for them, I don't want to do nothing, I just, you know, the, the buyer wants the item back, the ribbon for ransom, so, you know, so you're refining them in talk. Yeah, well, alright, i tell you what I know, which is a few things. First, Kid's not here anymore. Um, heard it was some... I don't know. Someone on on spices or figured out a good time. Whatever. Had a good plan, at least, right? Um, busted up the guild. Grabbed some stuff. Gets out. Starts selling it. Then, holds on to the big item. Thinks it might go for auction underground or something like that. Uh, posters start going up. Right. Uh, start. Word gets out that people are looking for this thing. Kid panics, runs off, joins a caravan, heads north. Um. Because as soon as, as soon as the guild says they'll pay ransom, they don't just have the hawk guard looking for him. They got other thieves looking for him. Because that's a that's a payout. No matter who takes it. Oh, that's true. So, I don't know if they got rid of it. It's possible, but I know that they booked it north. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to ask this guy. Kid booked it north. You said it was a spice caravan? Uh, I don't know. Probably some oh. merchants going north. Supplies, probably. Maybe the Kenku weirdos. I don't know about them. No, don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind. It's just 
always on the run? Don't want to, like, settle down? Live a comfortable life? I don't get it. No, no, I've dealt with them before. Hmm. Do we know what the kid looks like? That's a good question. I, I'm not going to ask that specifically, but I'm going to ask, um... Do we know this guy's name? Uh... Look, he's a young guy. I don't want him to fall on someone else's sword. I don't know his name, I don't know what he looks like. Alright, and he gives you the crowbar. <laughs> Most expensive crowbar you will ever buy. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna hold on to this crowbar with my fucking life. <laughs> this is your main weapon now. It is. <laughs> Better have it a plus three. It does like 1d6. <laughs> oh, it does not have a plus three. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got a minus one. Shit. Uh, good for breaking stuff open, though. True. I'm gonna put this thing in my manage inventory. Yeah, absolutely do. Bar. Add. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave with my crowbar in tow. He comes back outside with you, keeps selling goods, making money. <laughs> um, Cole. Yep. Um, can you think of a random, just a random good somebody could would be would be extreme would be press would be very aggressively pushing to pastors by? Uh. <laughs> Water <laughs> aeration. What? <laughs> um. In the the new scarves. Not the old scarves. They're new. They're different. <laughs> They're fancy. How much is a new scarf? Um, too expensive. A whole silver. Oh. Hey, someone comes back with a new scarf. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is dashing. It's fitting. Um, and new scarves. Yeah. Mm, hey, someone just sort of... Just sort of, um, walks over to, um, uh, Logan says, oh, Logan says, um, I, I hope you were successful. He has this very, just, like, dashing-looking scarf now, for whatever reason. Looks unwieldy. <laughs> um, my scarf, I guess. Um, yep. I was successful in that. Oh, uh, that's not well, information. Alright, well, that's good. <sighs> Alright, then. <sighs> well, thank you very much for doing this with me. Um. I thought I would have done this with you if I just kind of tagged along and then did it myself, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean yes. Uh, my apologies. I just didn't really know what to do. Awkwardly looks around. Is there any so leads? Anything else we can follow up upon, or? I'm so mad at. That seems to think. Well, let's let's talk. You know, as far. Yes. <sighs> Either way. Nothing to, nothing to be worried about, I suppose. Uh, would you like to? Was there anything you wish to? Was there anything you wish to do? Otherwise. Um, you want to go bug them in the Oh yes, I'm. Yes, I'm sure that would be incredibly entertaining. <laughs> so Pajmina um, and Zoran. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Library date. I mean date. I mean date. I mean date. I mean date. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know about a date. <laughs> Sorry. This is about to be one hell of a thing that we. <laughs> Tarot doesn't even know why you're there. <laughs> um. Yeah, along the way, um, Hishmina's just like, so you can do magic and stuff. I can, yes. Uh, what kind? What can you do? Um, I do a small myriad of things, mainly for offensive reasons. I dabble heavily in fire-related magic. But I do mm. have a few other tricks up my sleeve. For instance, I can turn invisible. I can charm people with just the sound of my voice. I know I do that already, but a little extra help doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Sauron, do you think you could help me with something? I think they look a little perplexed at this, but they just kind of smile after a second and nod. What is it I can do for you, my dear? So there's a restricted area of the library that we are definitely not allowed in. I see. We gotta get in there. Okay. May I inquire why you're trying to go into such an area? I... While Heisan and I were doing our research, I noticed that there was a lack of material on a certain subject available to the public. I want to know if it's in the restricted area. Uh, would it be wrong of me to pry a little further in what you mean by this? Unless it is a private matter. How about if I learn something interesting, I'll tell you all about it afterwards? I almost want to have you roll. <laughs> I'll, roll. I'll roll. Because I think they're they're a little skeptical. If you if you want to roll for that, I'll, I'll roll. I I think I might want to. If you don't mind a roll off, let's do a roll off. I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I could literally I could take a photo to prove. I swear. No, I believe you. I absolutely believe you. 25 total. 23 for insight. Oh, insight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to sneak into a known restricted area of the library, there has to be a good reason. I'm fine employing my magics, but I'd rather know what kind of trouble I may or may not be walking into. All right, all right. Uh, before I became a dancer, I... I don't even really know how to explain it anymore. I was part of a monastery. Uh, as a student. And I left. They were doing things I didn't really like, so I left. Um, while we were doing our research, we came across some texts about religion and other monastic orders. And mine wasn't among them. It wasn't anywhere. So I'm left wondering 
Why isn't there anything out there about mine specifically? That is perplexing, yes. All right, I I will assist you as best I can. <sighs> Thank you. I was going to have Hassan help me, but, uh, well. Cat. <laughs> 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 Let me just close my door real quick. I'll be just a second. You're good, Chief. I understand. <laughs> I'm surprised Bolt is not being a lot more disruptive. He's on my desk. Oh. <laughs> is he just sitting there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thousand apologies for that. Okay. Thousand apologies. All right. But yeah, uh, Zoran will give you their um, their support. I have um, a couple. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, so there's an attendant who. Uh, monitors the door into the restricted area. I tried to appear like one of the students. Uh, they caught on pretty quickly that I was definitely not there legitimately. Um, hmm. If you could somehow distract that attendant or use your invisibility, we might have a better chance working together. I can definitely try. Hmm. That's all I can ask. Would you wish for me to sneak in? Mm. I can. I've snuck around places before. I am capable of doing it. See, we could possibly get in together if I disguise myself as one of the library staff instead of a student and you can come in invisibly. But I still need to make sure I can get past that attendant. Hmm. All right. It's literally, I'm just sitting here trying to think of what I can do to really help. You could charm the attendant. <laughs> I could charm the attendant. <laughs> that would be a good way. Um. Um. I'm trying to, hmm. I wish I had invisibility so bad. I get that later. <laughs> yeah, it's I. I got it just I knew it was gonna come in handy. Um, I. Mm. I can disguise self, but I can only do it once. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, like, I have friends. I can cast that no problem. The only thing is they know they've been charmed after. Mm. I also have enthrall, which could also work. The only thing is then that's only a minute of them just, like, one-on-one -on -one talking to me. I could cast invisibility on you and then do that. It was basically the one thing um, I did, I believe, with Loka in session one. Oh, yeah. I could try to do the same thing. That's a pretty cool one. Man, we're a good duo for this. <laughs> we got the sneaks. Okay. Um... It's just because I have the spells for it. The only thing is... <laughs> 
how like the configuration how we want to my favorite dm would i have to roll on the table if i did most rolls you'll have to find out shit okay <laughs> all right um i'm i'm willing to take that risk if this is something that you believe you can do you have one hour oh yeah while okay. invisible. one hour <laughs> absolutely once i get you in zaron has no control over what you do they are just going to be trying to talk this attendant's ear off as best as they can. <laughs> and you will be very appreciated for it. So, I, I guess... Sounds like a plan to me. Alright. You can okay. enter the main area of the library at your leisure. It's mm. just freely available to the public. Um, but there is a couple of entrances to that secondary area. Um, all of which have a, 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 a very bored-looking attendant. Um, uh, who, yeah, is writing down names and professors for people who are allowed in. Zeron, did you attend university? Um. Oh. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> so, like, I, I assume you did some kind of schooling, whether private or otherwise. Yes. Um, yes. This kind of area is, like, would be the the all the Thronian equivalent for like collegiate storytelling. Usually, only like research students end up mm -hmm. uh, in in like the more restricted areas. Um, I'm just curious and how the answer familiar is they would not have. They probably would not have teachers that would let them go into that section. No. Yeah. Um. I, my larger question is just like your familiarity with the like security of the restricted areas of the library yeah, itself. Yeah, they probably would. Okay. Probably um, would. Yeah. They've probably been here. Yeah. So if briefly. Um, yeah. So, yeah. The second... There are actually three layers um, of the library. There is the public-facing uh, part of the, the library, which anyone can, can go to. There is the um, secondary part of the library, which is restricted to university students. Um, part of the reason it is restricted to university students and there is some amount of heightened security is because... Um, there are a lot of very delicate texts, just physically delicate texts mm -hmm. in that part of the library. And they want to make so sure that someone from the public doesn't walk in and ruin a like 500 year old scroll. Yeah. Um, and then there is the archive proper, not the other archive, but the, the, the Thronian archive, um, the Thronian library's archive, uh, which is uh, really important stuff, uh, really restricted stuff, rare stuff. And like only professors and like high level folks are let in. Um, so the second layer that you're going into security wise has someone at the door checking to make sure you know where you're going. And there's like, there are, there are reference librarians there who will notice if something super weird is going on, but there's not like posted security or guards mm -hmm. or anything like there are. Cause there actually are like guard guards, like Hawk guard at the entrances to the deep archive proper. Yeah. So the primary hurdle is really just getting in, getting past the front desk, and then also not getting into so much mischief that you draw the ire of any of the, like, uh, uh, attendants in the second layer of the library. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. Proceed. Okay. Um, I think Zoran would, like, relay this over to Pashmina, mm -hmm. just like the generals of just invisibility. Like, once you are invisible, you'll be invisible for up to an hour. Um, I <laughs> will keep it on as long as I can. Um, anything you touch or are carrying will turn invisible with you as long as it is a person. That includes if you pick up a book or a scroll. Sweet. Please do not steal anything. Aw, man. <laughs> um be wary of the reference librarians and that should hopefully be uh it should hopefully be smooth sailing just careful getting out of course as well i most likely will not be still talking to that attendant right okay 
Um, we will meet up again back in the uh, uh, the arts and crafts aisle, the like the the knitting <laughs> section. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll meet up again in this section because there's probably no one there. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. So, and like in that aisle, they will go ahead and just put a hand on your shoulder and will cast invisibility on you. You are now invisible for an hour. Wow. All right. And with that, then Zoran will come out of the aisle and just kind of saunter over to the first um, kind of student that's like watching the restriction section. Mm-hmm. They look very bored, as always. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And they will go over, and as it's, like, not really starting it just yet, and they'll just kind of say, Oh, I've seen you here in this position before. Got the unlucky draw again? Yeah, it's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That is incredibly unfortunate. Is your station here much longer, then? Is someone coming yeah, to you? Yeah, I have the afternoon shift, so it's like another four hours. Oh, that's incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, I just wanted to speak with you briefly. And like as they're doing this, um, Zoran will just begin to kind of cast enthrall as this is happening. Just kind of like right, in front of them. Uh, wisdom saving throw. It is a wisdom. They have disadvantage. <laughs> Because so you a hot keep my person is super high to DC. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> bet. <laughs> uh, that's an eight. Yeah, they fail. Wow. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I just wanted to check on you, see if everything was alright. You looked a little down while I was browsing the tomes over th Yeah, you know, my favorite local sports team hasn't been doing super great <laughs> recently, and I bet like 30% of my paycheck on that most recent game. <laughs> oh, so. that's I'm really hoping they can pull it out at the end of the season. <laughs> what team are you rooting for, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's the 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 U of Thra. Uh, 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 well, it's 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 the Hawks because of course it is. Yes, yes, I used to love watching. Yeah. When I was much younger. You know, I really think their their forward left is can can do real good, but he's been on the injured <laughs> list for like half the season. You're kidding. He, they're still injured. Alright, Pajmina, you can sneak into the second yeah. layer of the archive. Um the thing is oh. they're on cast and enthralled, but they're actually like in this conversation right now. Mm -hmm. oh, like, they're not God. really pretending. Uh, I think Beautiful. I think the the resident sport of Althra is some kind of like disc game, kind of like ultimate frisbee mm -hmm. or disc golf, uh, like high contact disc golf. Yeah. Um, or not disc golf, uh, like like ultimate frisbee. Ultimate frisbee, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's so funny. Yeah. Um, it's it's uh, right, yeah, pretty I, rough. That's so funny. I'm gonna try and and slip through the door as subtly as possible. Yeah, so uh, target has disadvantage on wisdom perception checks made to perceive any creature other than you until the spell ends. You're also invisible. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to roll. He, he has disadvantage. He needs literally a 20 to be able to uh, perceive, perceive that the door has opened and someone has gone through. 
yeah, no. It, I did not roll two 20s. Um, okay. So you're fine. You slip into the second half of the archive without a sound. Um, it opens up a lot. The, the second section is um, about the same size as the first one, but it feels much more open because it's uh, much more empty. Um, notably, the uh, uh, rather than the kind of like perusable shoulder height shelves of the first section of the library, this is much more in the format of the stacks. Um, these are tall, tall, tall uh, uh, layers of books that have the like rolly ladders um, attached to them, so you can go uh, find your bits. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's mostly empty. You kind of immediately spot where the reference librarians there are. Um, they're kind of in the center of it in general, with these uh, the stacks of books kind of surrounding them broadly. Gotcha. Um. Then yeah, uh, Pashmina's basically immediately going to try and find the relevant sections. Absolutely. Uh, um, so I'm going to go ahead and say you can make an investigation check roughly once every 10 minutes. Um, just to see if you can find what you're looking for in the first place. You did get familiar with the section you were looking for already. Um, so uh, it sh the DC is not super high. Okay. Um, but we're looking for an investigation of 10 to find the section. To find like the specific books you want to be looking at. Five. All right, that's first ten minutes. Uh, okay. Please, I beg. Okay, that was a thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. So, uh, first ten minutes uh, end up uh, getting a little bit more confused because the layout's a little different. Um, but after uh, a little bit more searching, you do manage to find the section you're looking for. Um, unfortunately. The section you're looking for is exposed. It's not. It's in open view of uh, one of the librarian's desks. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, may take some sleight of hand to grab the oh books you God. want. Oh, God. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I want to... Yeah... I want to try and find to first see if there are any books that are in totality about the Order of Blessed Sunset. Uh, there are not. Okay. Then I'm going to start getting more specific in that just any that might even contain, like, things that are just that subject. Absolutely. Like, yeah, so go ahead and give me sleight of hand. That I will gladly do. 17. All right. Uh, our librarians do have uh, high perception, but they have disadvantage. Two 17s. Oh, what does that mean? Um, it means that uh, one of the librarians uh, notes that a book has moved in your vicinity. Um, as soon as you are fully holding it, as soon as it's no longer freestanding, it does disappear into your invisibility with you um so uh they're not like they don't know that they are not suspicious that there is an invisible person inside of their section of the library um but they did notice something move and shift and they have risen from their desk and are moving towards the section you are in uh you uh. now have um let's say like three or four of the books that you were looking at oh okay good um, but I immediately try to, like, uh, get out of reach, out of sight, out of, like, you know, yep. like. You hustle down for toward a more different part of the corridor. Go ahead and give me stealth with advantage. Stealth with advantage. Oh. Uh, wait, I'm begging. <laughs> Eleven. Why are my rolls so bad right now? <laughs> I need them to be better. <laughs> these are the things I'm supposedly good at. Fuck oh, they got guys. a five. Um, so, well, five plus three is seven. Or eight. Um, 
but still less. So you manage to uh, cart yourself off to a different corner of the library, a more destitute portion of the restricted area, uh, without getting noticed. Um, and you kind of hear the librarian, like, as they make their way over the section, they kind of look at it and look at the ladder and look at some, like, missing sections. And they're just like, hmm, that's odd. Um, and then they kind of head back to their desk and start, like, looking through something. They start looking through some, it looks like some kind of ledger. Okay. Uh, how does invisibility work when I'm holding something? Like, can I see the things that I'm holding while um, they're invisible? Or am I... Ooh, that's a good question. Like, I think Edge Case Answer says no, but I'm going to check. I don't think it says anything specific. Anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it is on the target's person. Um, so... It doesn't say invisible to whom, um, but my gut answer would be to everyone. So to read the book, you probably have to, like, put it down onto a surface and then, like, thumb through the pages. Yeah, okay. Then, uh, we're stealing this book, aren't we? <laughs> At least for now. Well, I, I want to try and, I'm, I want to try some things before I resort to... Thievery? Yeah, um, which are mainly, first of all, I need to find out if these books even contain anything valuable to yep. me. Um, so I want to, like, sequester myself away to an area that is pretty much out of view of anyone relevant yeah. um, and just start like going through the indexes to yeah. just even like so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and use our, our sub rule of taking 10 in this which is in, you can just like especially since you're not trying to read super in depth through all of these books um, you can like take take a, a minute to kind of scan through individual spines, look through tables of contents, try and figure out if any of these really contain something that you're looking for. Okay. Um, and after a quick scan, it looks like most of them don't, um, but you do manage to pick up one book that is kind of more about uh, esoteric individual like religious groups um, across the continent. Um, and in the um, section that you are, like, looking through, um, you see uh, ne next to one of the tables of contents, um, there's not the name, uh, the Order of the Last Sunset, but there is the symbol that you are familiar with. Mm. Um, next to one that looks very much the same, but uh, there's a moon instead of the sun. Okay. Um, interesting. And they have passages about these? Yeah, if you would like to take okay. a minute to be more thorough and actually, like, read the texts. Uh, well, what I want to do is just rip the pages out. <laughs> yeah, so there's, like, it looks like there's about a full chapter about... It, oh. It's hard, a little hard to decipher from here because they're not using words you recognize um but there is a chapter featuring these two symbols um about uh a couple of like ideological paths um it's gonna take probably a solid 10 minutes to like kind of it, it's it's written like academic text it's dense oh okay um Yeah, if I can just, like, discern, like, kind of where it's starting to talk about the specifics of these symbols and the, like, basically this subject. Um, I want to try and, like, isolate it from the rest of the book, if possible. Yeah, it, it seems to be self-contained within that chapter. It's probably, like, 20 pages. Okay. I'm going to take those 20 pages. Yeah. <laughs> Just go ahead and tear them out. Are you going to, like, try and slice the pages or just, like, rip them out? Uh, I don't know if she has, like, a good implement for with which to... I have a mess kit. That probably has a fucking... What does that have in it? Like a kitchen knife? Simple yeah. cutlery? Yeah. Uh, can I kind of do, like... 
you know what a boning knife is? Yes. Just take like a butter knife and use it like a fucking boning knife. And yeah. Just kinda make folds um, and kind of gently rip. Do you know a sound that librarians are particularly sensitive to? <laughs> Ripping paper. Ripping paper. <laughs> Um, I would like you to make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> Don't fail me now. I'll fucking cry. <laughs> Fuck. That's actually something I'm good at, too. I'm so mad. I have a plus five in sleight of hand. God. I still only rolled a fucking ten. Oh, no, no, right. no, no, uh, no, no. They do not have disadvantage oh. on this. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's an 18. No! <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so, uh... Both of these librarians here, um, as you rip 20 pages out of this book. Uh, and both of them are, like, immediately on their feet and headed toward the, the direction of the sound. I, I want to I want to get out. Do, do I get all 20? Yeah. Okay, uh, it, it, it was loud, though. Okay, I immediately, I immediately stuff them in my bag and, and move away from where I made the noise. Okay, like, are you just, leaving the book with the pages torn out of it there? Yes. Okay. Uh, so these uh, librarians like walk over and they see this book with a huge passage of it just like torn out and are immediately like looking around to see what happened. Uh, are you booking it? I'm moving as fast and quietly as I can. Okay. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. Uh, now that the librarians are alerted, they no longer have disadvantage. No way actually end my life <laughs> what'd you get i rolled an eight <laughs> I rolled an eight okay i'm, I'm fuck the, i'm not rolling these dice anymore i'm rolling different oh, dice man. fuck these dice they rolled a 13. Fuck. there is nothing uh, i can do for no yeah you're, don't so worry about it. I'll uh, it out. they hear footsteps and immediately go someone's in the library um they can't see you like you're invisible um but they immediately know that like something's going on um, one of them continues to look. They, like, grab one of the, like, lanterns from uh, a, a nearby post and start, like, looking around. And the other one looks like they're walking for the armed guards next to the archive. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh. The one with the lantern's closing in on you, but you've got a chance to get, to get out still. Yeah. Yeah. I, she, she's just gonna try really hard to like. She just needs to be out. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and give me another stealth check. I, I need to. I, do I roll these dice again? I hate these dice. They're not. <laughs> One more try. No, oh my God, please. That was a thirteen. Thirteen. I'm, okay. I'm pulling up a fucking dice roll. <laughs> They're old. A ten. Oh. Okay. So, uh, plus three is thirteen, but Ty goes to the roller. So you manage to like, basically, um, they're on you, but they double back just enough to check down a hallway that you slip through the door into the public section of the library. They notice that the door has opened and are immediately moving toward it, but you are out into the public section of the library now. Okay, I immediately start, like, I I go through the shelves to where I know Zoran is. Alright. Um, the librarian is immediately talking to the person at the desk, and uh, the person at the desk is just like, I don't know, I haven't seen anyone. And is, like, flipping through the, like, log of people and teachers. Um, and, like, the, the librarian from the intersection is talking very urgently to the that that individual and you pop up out of existence there is an old lady sleeping in the knitting section <laughs> oh. near the knitting did, section did you find what you needed to yes but we need to get out we need to get out right now oh. what <laughs> we need to leave i i tried my best i tried to be stealthy but they heard oh by the gods above. Okay. All right. Go, 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 go. Just walk out casually. No heard steps. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's kind of pale. Yeah. <laughs> um. And Zoran will lead the charge on this. 
please tell me you put the pages away at least. And you're yeah. not just holding them in your Yeah. She 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 put them in her bag. Oh my god, okay. Um so the uh people at the entrance, the like like checkout librarians and stuff like that, do you notice that something's going on? Um, and I would like the two of you to make deception checks as you exit past them. I'm good at these. Um, either both of you can make them individually, or Pejmina, you can attempt to help Zoran. I'm I would good like at to help these. Zoran. I would I'm like to very help good at these. All right. Okay, not terrible. Okay, not terrible. A uh, seventeen. Okay. Um, it's Ooh. close. They kind of give you an eye. They can tell you you tell you're kind of like maybe hustling a little bit, but then they, they've got something else to worry about and you manage to make it out of the library. Zeron doesn't speak a word for two blocks. <laughs> yeah. And then turns around. Did you find what you were looking for? The information you were looking for? I think so, but I haven't been able to study it yet. I just, I had to be quick. Uh, study it. I told you specifically no stealing! I didn't take the whole thing, I just... You... The, the entire thing... Did, did you... Pashmina, darling, please, please tell me you didn't do what I thought you just did. What's what in your you hands? <laughs> Fashmina, what is in your hands? Fashmina, just drop it. it. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Fashmina will, she wants to very quickly um, stash the pages kind of discreetly between the pages of the journal that she has. Mm -hmm. uh, her and Hazan's like journal. So just to like, so it is now is now contained within the journal within the bag. Saron looks so pained that you ripped pages out of a book for this. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't want to. I if it would have been easy if you just took the entire book. <laughs> That's it was terrible. <laughs> well, someone might lose that. their job because of that. At least tell me you put the book back so it looked inconspicuous. <laughs> Zeron looks ready to beat their head against the wall. <laughs> they look pissed. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You got the information you needed. Maybe. Maybe. Please tell me you at least saw the name of your organization. That's why you took it. Please, at least <laughs> give me that. Shmina looks up with you with the most, like, sad, huge eyes. <laughs> Just like, I saw a symbol. <laughs> I saw the <a> symbol. <laughs> It's like, it's morphed from anger to just disappointment at this point. <laughs> it's all I had. It's all I had to go off of. They have nothing. They don't have anything about this place. This might be the only thing they have. Then I ask you in all seriousness, and this is no dis or accusation to you. Are you sure this is a real organization? Zoran. Part of why I did this in the first place is because I'm not so sure anymore. I see. Then, for... Your case, I hope it is. Come, let's get back to our respective rooms. Yeah, I'm a bit tapped out now. Thank you 
for doing that. Don't mention it. And Zeran will start leading them back to the uh, two-headed peasant. Yeah, you head back. Uh, it's all melodrama today at the two-headed peasant. They're running like a whole thing. Uh, it's they're actually running the same show, just like repeatedly, but with different actors, so that every time there's new people in, they can see it from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of exhausting. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, y'all head upstairs. You can hang out in the same room or different rooms. Uh, Loka and Hassan, you're probably already there, right? Yes. Yep. Probably. Excellent. Then yeah, Pejmin and Zaran, you likewise arrive. Sick. There, are, there are enough beds for all of you to sit on, and also you have another room. This is a ritual spell, dude. Bed. Hello, you two. Voice crack. Hi. And a good evening to the both of you. Assume I... your venture went well. Oh, oh, yes. Loka did very swimming, did very swimmingly, and got some very, 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 very valuable information for us. Would you like to share it with them? Say no. <laughs> oh no. I'm not feeling it. I'm then, tired. I, then I, then I shall share it with them. Then, uh, so, Loka, um, did uh, we spot? We looked for and found the seedy underbelly of the, uh, or the seedy underbelly of the city, or one such member of so, who, who was selling we- who appeared to be selling weapons of sorts, illegal weapons. We successfully purchased information. We successfully purchased information, or Loka successfully purchased information. I mostly just awkwardly stood to the side. L- um, Loka successfully purchased information, and we have an idea of where the scarab might be headed. It is stolen by, as the courier sus- suspected, some know nothing fool who is currently on a break for it up north. Meaning. If we are lucky, perhaps we might run into them. Just be out. And if it was a Kenku caravan that they ran off with, I do have an idea of where they may make a stop by, at the very least. Um... As for you two, I I assure things went well. I'm... Zoran is trying not to make a face. Pashmina! I don't think Pashmina is, is good at hiding her emotions. She, she, she's clearly, like, pouting, but she goes, it was okay. Interesting. Eventful would probably be a good word. Yeah. Um, eventful in a concerning manner? I would not visit the library for... I see. How did that happen? I don't know all the details, but I also too much. I think it's everything is fine. We are unharmed. No one suspects us. Hopefully, but we got what we were going for. We think. That is about all the information I can give, because that's about all I know. I do hope it's worth it. It was worth oh, it then. I'm I sh- do too. If you want to well start then. digging into the pages, Pashmina, you certainly may. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, uh, Pashmina just kind of like glances at Hassan, and then just kind of like everyone else and just like, I have some reading to do, <laughs> and just kind of heads upstairs. We're in the room. Oh, are we? We're in in one of the two everything. bedrooms. Oh. Yeah. Just goes uh, to the other room. Yeah, yeah, Pashmina's is like, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, to the other room. There's four beds in there. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to keep mentioning that every time anyone enters either room or room. <laughs> <to the area. laughs> 
I paid money to be here. You did. His his son will look at her specifically. We'll look at um. Not sorry. We'll look at Zoran specifically and say. So what kind of trouble? Be be honest. <laughs> Do I want Zoran to be like a good bro and just cover? Up? Or do I want Zoran to be like, I didn't- I don't want to deal with this. Hmm. You know, Zoran's gonna be a nice guy. They- Aww. they believe in Ashmina and all of this. I think they're just going to... kind of... just increased security. Trust me, everything is fine. A very, very minor blood. I see. Well, then. is prepared to roll. <laughs> Hassan is going to do an insight on that. Bet. Can I do... Can... Alright, um, are you okay with that? I'm fine. 19. <laughs> 19? Yes. <laughs> Oh, Jack of all my. trades, baby. Jeez. Goes to the roller. Uh, okay. That's hey, all Hey, son's not gonna say anything. He says, alright, thank you, thank you very much, then. So, um, the way things are current, we have currently got to have our cargo. We have, um, if I may... Simply say, simply say, uh, I believe, are we all comfortable with heading, do you believe we are ready to head out next morning? Or do you believe we need, was there anything else we needed? I see no reason to stay. Alright, alright then. I suppose next morning we will be, um, we will be headed up north. Our next stop, I believe, our next stop should be... Our next stop should be shit. What was it? Uh, should be Rose Lake. Oh, Rose Lake. Rose Lake. Um, though we might have to make a detour if we wish to perhaps catch our little our friendly thief. Um, Cole. Um, for Vagrant's Rest, where does that lie? Where does that lie in between this route? Um, it's probably pretty close to Rose Lake. Um, okay. Between Rose Lake and Quickland. Okay. Uh, although we may have to, though we will most, I will warn you, we will mo as, as the, uh, our gentle, as our poor know-nothing thief has apparently taken, uh, taken refuge with a, re refuge with a group of Kenku, at least in a Kenku caravan, I have no doubt that they will most likely be stopping by Vagrant's Rest to the well, Vagrant's Rest, where I'm sure they'll be partaking in whatever religious ceremony, in the, some sort of religious ceremony or some some uh, manner of sorts like that. Um, I, I hope you won't mind the detour. I will asterisk that you don't know that for sure. I don't know. That for, I don't know that for sure, but that's a bet. You, yeah. you don't know that they're with a Kenku caravan for sure. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, that was like a possibility. Oh, okay, that was a possibility. Yeah. We right. don't know for sure. I hmm. will also ask: Do we know that they left recently? The scarab has been gone for a few weeks now, if I remember. Could. Hmm. Quite, quite literally, could be anywhere in the face at this point. I suppose that's right. I'm very okay. happy we have a lead, and I hate to be a pessimist, truly, I do. But oh, being no. a little more on the pragmatic side, it stands to reason that they might be very well long gone. I suppose then. It doesn't hurt to check the areas, and it doesn't hurt to check north, if that's what... The information you've been given suggests to do. Do we know anything else about our mystery thief? Only that they're young. Young? 
As in my age or younger? Uh, um, relative, only relative to, only relative to the, only relative to the gentleman in the, who was selling weapons. And how old was the gen was the person selling weapons? Like or at least middle age. Old. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I would suspect mostly our age, perhaps your age, perhaps a bit younger, perhaps a bit older. Zeron is eighteen. <laughs> Then, yeah, probably your age. Just when a middle-aged person talks about the young people, probably. Sorry, 19, I think. Yeah. Lol. Probably close to our age, or mm. your age. I'm six years old. <laughs> All right. I'm nine years old or something. Wait, was he nine years? Yeah, I was seven years old. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then, tomorrow morning... First, uh, first light? First light. I am going to retire to the other room then. Have a good night. And you as well. We'll see you in the morning. All right. And can Hassan also talk to Pashmina? Is that okay? Uh, yes, because as soon as you come in the room, uh, she, uh, basically, like, I don't have a better word for it, glomps you. Oh, like... <laughs> oh Hassan is immediately taken off guard and starts panicking, like, oh, Jesus. What if it doesn't, it starts flailing about a little, you think Pashmina's... you knock, you knock. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I did a thing I wasn't supposed to do, and I, but I didn't know what else to do, it was the only way I could get the information I needed, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, 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 what? Oh, God, there was trouble, what was it? <laughs> I knew something was wrong. I went to the restricted zone of the library. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's it? You went to, to a restricted area? And then I ripped pages out of a book. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, 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 Pashmina, that is... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, oh, this is coming from someone who grew up in a library. You yes, don't do I that. Know. That's... I mean, I've made mistakes before. I, I don't believe me. I've snuck into the, I've snuck into areas I wasn't supposed to before. But vandalize, but vandalizing a book. I is. Listen, I want to try and make it right somehow. I was thinking. I. I, uh, listen, I have, listen, it's important, hey song. I, 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 I understand. I'm sure you had your reasons. Would you like to talk about them? Uh, er, I need, I need I, to read first. Of course. Take your time. But, um, when I'm, when I'm done reading, I, if you could transcribe the pages and have them sent to you know, your archive so that then they're still preserved? Is, is that something you could do? I mean, I suppose. We are, li we are, arch we are archivists. I'm sure we would, they would appreciate it. I... I'm not happy with what happened. And I don't want this information to get lost forever, but I... There are things I need to know. I understand. And as soon as you're done chain sky with them, I will request that you return to me those pages as well, if you do not mind. Pashmina nods. Very well. I hope you find what you're looking for, Pashmina. And know that I'm here for help, if you need it. Thanks. You're very welcome. Uh, and then Pashmina is going to sit in bed and, and start going through the chapter. Alright. Um, it's getting pretty late in the evening. We've discussed leaving for 
uh, the next town in the morning with maybe a little bit of, of book-related business to take care of beforehand. Um, but otherwise, it looks like you are set up to continue your journey beyond Althra shortly. Um, mm -hmm. Surely be an exciting time on the road. Uh, I think that's an okay place to call it for tonight. Yay! <laughs> I am by me. Last couple sessions have been like the session is a day, um, which I think mm. is very funny. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it'd be like that. That's D and D for you, though. Honestly, yeah. D and D is just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's do some stars and wishes. I have no idea what order I did it in before, so I'm just going to go left to right. Middle, middle, I believe. I guess I can go outside in. So, uh, Hannah, stars and wishes. Yes. Um, stars. Thank you for letting me do dramatic library things. Mm -hmm. Library theft. <laughs> library heist. I, I, I did deeply consider, like, do I have time to, like, make an entire map of the library so I could, like, play this out in initiative, even though it's just, like, a little stealth thing? I decided against it. But I was fun. I liked that. I thought that was fun. I am literally sweating. Um, <laughs> fuck fucking D D Beyond's dice roller <laughs> forever. Um, any other stars? Uh, just interacting with everyone's always fun. It's just always fun. I, li I like when we do interpersonal things. Um, wishes? Um... I'm kind of. I usually don't crave combat, but I think I think we're at a good point where combat would be nice, um, especially like on the road stuff. Uh, it, it would make for a good, different kind of dice rolling. Fair enough. All right, um, Eli, stars and wishes. Stars. Library heist. <laughs> well, it was fun. It was very fun to listen to, and I'm really interested in how you problem solved your way around everything. <laughs> hmm. What else? What else? What I else? tried. <laughs> investigation. Investigation was fun. I do like investigating. <laughs> Blah. Sorry, I think that was about it. Sorry. That's alright. Any wishes? Uh, wishes. Hmm. I hope something goes terribly wrong s soon. <laughs> Noted. Because right. I do want to- I want that tension. Yee. Tension is fun sometimes. Hmm. Alright, Caroline. Hello. Um, stars. Uh, the one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> It's, point. it was good. I like that a lot. Um, <laughs> stars. <laughs> there are just some really good one in today's session, and I like that. There's like a lot going on, but like we actually got pretty much everything taken care of, which is nice. Especially for us, since yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. It's um. That was really good. I'm glad we got all this accomplished today. It was very good. Um, stars, gotta give it to Library Heist. Just because that was <laughs> really funny. There's literally, there was nothing I could do in that moment. <laughs> like, it's, that was all on you. <laughs> yeah. Sure was. <laughs> and you know what? good on you. you you got out you made I it had, i was like my mind was fucking racing i had like contingencies i was like the moment like if my fucking invisibility goes down i need to use disguise self instantly <laughs> like don't even let them see me. yeah oh. excellent so, oh i freaked out there that was good um <laughs> wishes I guess, yeah, we're- I think we're due for, like, a decent combat thing coming up. Um, wishes. I wanna see what's in 
the log, like the pages that you ripped out. <laughs> I think Zeron's now like really invest, like interested in it, just because they had to be part of the plan to get in. Mm. I did promise, so yeah. So I think that's like something that they're definitely interested in. Um, I'm interested to get up north to like finally get to like the like find this person. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited oh. for where we go from here. There's like a few different plot lines right now that we're following and I'm excited for it. So yeah. yeah. Excellent. Loka. And by Loka, I mean Matt. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, stars for the session. I, I like a good mystery. And for a bit there, I had, your my mind was racing because of, like, what actually happened with this break-in? Is this a conspiracy? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, that, that was good. The other thing, thank you, Star, thank you, Eli, for suggesting going and talking to the black market people because I had thought of that and then forgot about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was good. Um, wishes are library heist payout. What is that going to be? Um, and uh, yeah, this uh, the other thing is this very much felt like a like a setup episode, you know what I mean? Like this, this felt like this is the launch pad into the, the next multiple, kind of... yeah, different um, threads that we've been pulling on. And so I'm curious to see what the payoff on all of that will be. Yeah. Awesome. You. Me. You. Uh, stars. I love that everyone's getting into everyone else's shit. Um, <laughs> That's, I love that, like, Pejmina's got this weird thing going on that she won't tell everyone, anyone about, and other people are interested in hearing about that. Mm -hmm. Zoran's got some mysterious things going on, and other people are interested in knowing more about that. Even Loka, like, just, like, being a pirate, like, that's, it, there's... Other people are interested in that. People want to know. Hypothetically, sorry. Loka <laughs> is confirmed hypothetically could have been once a pirate. Um, and other people are interested in that. Uh, uh, and hassan has got like some history stuff going on, some kind of weird things, and is the most interested in everyone else's shit. Um, and that's so good. Um, yeah, uh, that's super. That is a combination star and wish, where star, love that. Uh, wish, please continue doing that. It's great. Um, also wish, also super, also very interested in some more action. Um, I, I have plans, um, and I want to execute them, and I hope that they're fun. Um, uh, other wishes. Oh, uh, other star, too. Getting the, the week, week and week was good. I, I'm not going to plan on trying to schedule sessions this closely because uh session planning does take a lot of time and effort and stuff sometimes more than a week of time and effort and stuff um but uh i'm very glad we got to play again so soon especially given the content of these two sessions um it feels good that they are so close together yeah um so yeah looking forward to playing more uh thank you all for playing with me today i hope you all had fun yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah excellent all right, I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>